Hello YouTubers, today I'm going to be doing the unboxing video of the ThinkPad X1 Extreme Generation 3. This is the Generation 3. This is the latest model uh, that, ha that was released as, to, as of this year, at the end of 2020. And um, I am replacing my aging ThinkPad 470S and uh, i'm gonna be replacing it with this baby here that is a um, it contains a, an nvidia graphics card and i have the specifications here of this unit this carries uh, an intel i7 107 50 uh, cpu it also has a normal 1920 by 1080 ips display and um, I'm going to explain more to you about the uh, specifications as far as RAM and H HDD and um, capacity because I am going to be upgrading it. So I am so happy that I got a unit and today, today by the way is December 30 and um, you know, I got it just before New Year's, just before New Year's. So at the end of 2020, I can count with a brand new notebook computer. So I'm going to lay this down. <laughs> it should have been the other way around, everyone. Uh, so here is the box and I'm not going to show the back as I told you because uh, it has like my personal information. So the, back, the packaging contains this other box. And if I'm not mistaken, this must be the charging, the charging um, adapter. It's gonna use a pretty, it's gonna use a pretty heavy adapter because it is, um, you know, it has a video card, so it is considered a mobile workstation. Surprisingly, the uh, power adapter that it brings is very small compared to this massive. Uh, huge power adapters on gaming laptops and notebook computers that are considered mobile workstations so it is very small I didn't know the wattage but uh oh right here it's 135 watts so it's pretty heavy pretty strong let me get it up close 135 watts and so it brings this little cap here and the other side of the adapter, just uh, right here. So in a while I am gonna be plugging it in, but um, I have a lot of these laying around, so because we have used ThinkPads in the house, so it's not like it's my first ThinkPad. I mean, I have the 470 here. Uh, my wife is using a 470 regular, minus the 470S. And so, and so I am just in love with all the reviews that I've been seeing out there about the Lenovo X, X1's um, Extremes and uh, the only thing that kept me away from getting the Generation 2 it was that um, the Generation 2 it didn't have any built-in LTE cellular uh, modem so that was restricted to the, the um, it was back then restricted to the uh, the ultrabook um, models such as the 470s and the x1s like the x1 carbon and so on but uh generation 3 uh, broke that um you know uh, that system should i say of um and uh, this unit also includes a and there's an option to have the lte uh, to add the lte modem now the unit that i got I didn't get it with the modem because I currently do have an LTE modem installed on my 470S and I plan to take the modem from here, the cellular modem, and install it on my X1 uh, Extreme Generation 3. So here is the packaging. The packaging is very neatly. Um, honestly, my 470 didn't come, my 470S didn't come in such a packaging and i'm glad you know that uh, lenovo puts that extra level of details uh, pretty much like what high-end um, uh, 
product vendors such as Apple and so on do on, on their uh, devices. And um, you know, it's just part of the experience, the, the unboxing experience. You can see here the X1 logo, X1, I guess carbon from the carbon line logo. And it is in a very neat uh, plastic wrap. So let's see what else is in the box. So the, the bottom of the box has like these grooves that are like instruction and warranty guides that are included here in two separate packages. So you can see here, there's the setup guide, there's safety and warranty. It is a uh, generation three, extreme generation three. I do not know why it reads P1 because this is not a P1, it's not supposed to be. Uh, that is restricted for the ones that have the, the units that have the Quadro uh, graphics, more like for uh, AutoCAD and stuff. This is more like just normal, regular NVIDIA uh, graphics and cars. And if I'm not mistaken, this one has a 1650 NVIDIA. And that is correct. This The graphics card in here is supposed to be an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 Max-Q. It's like the mobile version of the the gaming card, the video card. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the, um, you know, I'm gonna do the honors of, should I say, not, this is no longer an unboxing, but an unplastic and unremoving plastic. And, uh, and here we go. And uh, I mean, oh, what a beautiful experience because uh, it's been almost like, almost like four years since I have had a new computer and um, uh, my my old 470s is just running so slow because it's not designed for video editing obviously not because it's not a um, it doesn't have a, a video car but now I'm no longer now I'm no longer gonna be you know I'm no longer gonna be experiencing that slowness because I expect very high um, responsiveness and performance from this new uh, notebook computer and mainly i'm gonna dedicate it and use it for video you know my video editing for my youtube channel uh Kofi volka tech and um i plan to you know uh put it to work so let's give you a brief walkthrough of what the uh, ports have the unit has so this is a full a full SD card reader. These are two USB ports. I would assume these are USB 3.0. And then I'm gonna turn it around and uh, in the back, there's nothing there in the back as you can see. And then uh, here we have the charging port, the uh, proprietary Lenovo charging, uh, you know, a port, uh, Thunderbolt 3 uh, port, and another Thunderbolt 3 port, and then you have an HDMI in, and audio jack. And here is some sort of uh, LED light or some sort of Lexington uh, lock, I'm not really sure. No, the Lexington lock is supposed to be on the other side. You know, one weird thing that I just noticed and realized is that uh, I did not see anywhere that there's the uh, option to put the um, uh, the SIM card tray because um, I know that the unit didn't have a, I didn't opt in to get a SIM card tray but um, anyways uh, I know that it could be added at a later time but anyways I'm not going to worry about that if that is the case so I'm going to go ahead and open the unit now and I'm going to turn it on and oh what a beautiful feeling and as you can see I was able to open it with one hand i was able to do the one hand opening thing so it does open with one hand and let me feel the trackpad oh beautiful it's like it's like i f I, I honestly i don't feel a difference because um i already have a thinkpad so you know how how good this uh thinkpad keyboards are they're like the lexus of all keyboards so uh nothing there to brag about i mean i got one of the best keyboards out there i'm gonna go ahead and turn it on hopefully it has a charge if it doesn't have a charge then we would have to plug it in so unfortunately now we can go ahead and turn it on so as far as the display 
I didn't opt for the 4K display because I got this unit on special, so I got a very good deal. The the whole everything the unit was uh, 1369, including taxes, so I'm not complaining. Now the only downside is that the hard drive is only 128 gigabytes in size and storage size, but um, that is no biggie because. Um, I ordered from B and H a Samsung one terabyte hard drive that I I plan to upgrade it and install it in there. Also, the uh, memory it only comes pre-installed with, if I'm not mistaken, eight gigabytes of RAM. So that's no biggie either because through B and H I went ahead and I ordered a total of 32 gigabytes, two slots of 16 gigabytes of RAM that I plan to install in the unit to do um, a small upgrade and that's what I'm gonna find out if um, I can after all go ahead and transfer the LTE cellular modem chip from here and put that modem on this PC and then have the option the ability to have uh, LTE uh, 4G so I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna be trying that out you know within the next couple of um, hours because uh, right before right before um, I begin um, uh, I begin customizing my PC my new uh, Lenovo PC I have to first install the um, oh I have to lower this down so right before I begin you know setting everything up I need to install the one tetrabyte um, uh, NVMe hard drive first and then I also need to upgrade the memory, the RAM, which I'm going to be doing that uh, as soon as I finish doing the uh, the setup for this for this um, uh, for this review, this unboxing review. And so I wanted to share with you what pretty much is going to be my uh, the new unit that I'm going to be using. That I'm going to be um, uh, you know this is going to be like my my uh, my daily workhorse unit. I'm going to be doing all sorts of things work related stuff personal stuff and also i'm gonna run my channel from here i'm gonna be doing a lot of the video editing and so on so once i have the unit set up and customized and everything i'm gonna be doing further uh, reviews like two weeks after reviews um, i'm gonna post the information when i upgraded the uh, the hard drive and the ram at this point I did not know if the RAM uh, from here is going to work uh, on, on the generation 3 because if I'm not mistaken the type of RAM that um, the, the frequency here is 2933 and this frequency is 3200 if I'm not mistaken so it's different frequency so I have to see how is that going to react and so on so I really want to thank you for watching my videos um, you know and uh, if you do like and subscribe hit a like and subscribe to my channel i'm going to be putting out there more content i'm going to try to do my best to put at least a video a week and um, you know to keep my channel uh, growing thank you very much and happy new year everyone